Hey guys, this is Manclor here. If you can tell by the title, I'm testing out uh, gamepad footage. And first I'd like to show you how I'm actually doing that. So, what I'm using here is a phone clamp, which is basically holding my phone over the gamepad, and so I use my phone to record the gamepad footage, and then I transfer the files on the phone to my computer. Uh, this phone clamp I bought from Amazon, you can get it for like, uh, $11, so it's fairly cheap, and it's actually fairly sturdy. If I shake it around like this, it doesn't move that much. So with that said, let's get started with the race. Okay, so here we are at the race. Now, using the Adobe Premiere Pro that my friend installed, I'm gonna put the gamepad footage on the left side of the screen. So all of it takes for me is just to sync up the gameplay in both of those clips together, and it's not that difficult. Now, one thing about holding, having the game, having the clamp attached to the gamepad is it does add a little bit of weight to it, so it's slightly uncomfortable, but I'm getting used to it. Now some of you might be thinking that this is getting in the way of whatever happens on that side of the screen, but if anything happens, and for example this dropout that I'm doing here, uh, I can just move this, this bottom screen away from that, so that, so that yeah, you can see the guy getting hit by the blue shell. And then I can just put it back on right afterwards. Now one other thing I could do is that I could put the webcam, some webcam footage up in the top right corner, right, right here. So, but the one thing I am a bit worried about that is that it's uh, causing the screen to get a little too cluttered. There's like so much on here that you can barely see the main gameplay. So let me know if you didn't want both the the position chart and the webcam footage, or if you just want the position chart. So I'll leave you with the rest of the gameplay. So thanks for watching, and goodbye.